Samsung has been a global vendor of Android phones for over a decade. Samsung helped the world adopt smartphones because they were affordable and innovative. Samsung didn't stop when they became the market leaders. They kept evolving and extended their support for enterprises so that Samsung smartphones could be used for work with all the necessary security they need. Now known as Samsung Knox, the enterprise security solution has helped organizations to secure the work devices along with mobile device management solutions. Hexon has been leveraging the Samsung Knox features and Knox mobile environment to support its users to get the most out of Samsung devices. And now with OEM config, Samsung has made it possible for MDMs to deploy the brand new Knox features from day one. We have here with us Mr. Sunil Kumar Behera, the Technical Account Manager for Southwest Asia at Samsung Electronics, and we'll discuss about Samsung Knox and its security capabilities for enterprises. Hi Sunil, welcome to Hexcon 20. Yeah, hi Saika, thank you for having me here. Great, so let's get started. Hexnord has a wide variety of customer base who leverage the Samsung Knox features. These features has been a deciding factor for many to choose Samsung devices for their business. And I think Samsung helped adopting Android for businesses and also made it a budget friendly affair. So for those who don't know about Samsung Knox, can you please explain what it, what it is briefly? Sure. Samsung's Knox platform brings defense-grade security on the most popular consumer devices to all enterprises. The Knox platform provides best-in-class hardware-based security, policy management, and compliance capabilities beyond the standard features commonly available in today's mobile device market. And for us MDM or UEM vendors, these features helped us to provide a more secure device management option to users. And like you said, Samsung Knox provides a more advanced set of features than what native management solutions offer. So how does the Knox platform ease mobile device management using the hardware back security, app isolation, and data protection features? Okay, the Knox security platform is built into Samsung devices, securing them from the moment you unpack and turn them on. These devices are secured by Knox with multi-layered hardware and security features. The Knox platform contains overlapping defense and security mechanisms that protect your data against intrusion, malware, and malicious threats by implementing root of trust. A root of trust is the cornerstone of any modern security protocol. It is a series of stringent checks and balances, beginning at the hardware level rather than the software level. This feature adds a level of security to devices, making them difficult to attack since hardware is less mutable than software. The Knox platform builds a unique industry-leading trusted environment in four ways. First, it establishes a hardware-packed root of trust on which other components rely. Second, build trust during boot through features like trusted boot. Third, maintains trust while the device is in use through features like real-time kernel protection. And fourth, proves its trustworthiness on demand through device health attestation. So, how the root of trust works? First, the Knox platform security starts in the factory before users even power on their devices. When a device unique hardware key, also known as DUHK, is generated on the device using its hardware random number generator. Next, the DUHK separates or generates and encrypts the device root key DRK and Samsung attestation key. Upon devices startup, Samsung uses the Samsung Secure Boot Key SSPK to check all software components. One of the components is the Trust Zone Secure World, a chip partition reserved for secure code and data. Only specially privileged software modules running within the Trust Zone Secure World can access these keys. 
therefore the software performs a check on each Knox platform feature before allowing it to run. Since this chain of security checks begins with the very first hardware check, each, each feature is protected by the hardware root of trust. No matter which link in the chain an attacker targets, one of the security checks detects it. Then we have the Knox Verified Boot. The Knox Verified Boot is a new solution that both extends and enhances Android Verified Boot. While Android Verified Boot only checks the integrity of the kernel and the platform components, Knox Verified Boot extends those checks to also co cover the earlier bootloaders. This provides a more comprehensive guarantee that the device is booting using properly signed components that are all from the same build. Knox Verified Boot performs the same type of validation as the existing trusted boot mechanism, but it is able to do so before the device kernel is booted and thus provides the same data protection guarantee earlier. Next we have the real-time kernel protection. The Knox platform's patented real-time kernel protection RKP is the industry's strongest protection against kernel threats and exploits. RKP works seamlessly out of the box with no setup required. Simply powering on a Samsung Knox device provides world-class world threat protection and attack mitigation. RKP supports the rest of the Knox security offerings to provide full security coverage without the typical gaps anticipated with mobile devices. And finally, we have the device health attestation. Mobile apps can be compromised if unauthorized actors are able to run them in on untrustworthy hardware or firmware. This can be done by either a malicious user deliberately accessing a device they are not authorized to, for example, while the user is away, a bad actor who manipulates the device or its firmware in transit. Such an actor can easily gain full control over the device firmware, files, UI and apps. Unfortunately, malicious actors can exploit these scenarios to steal passwords, hijack identities, access secret information, install apps. Enterprises with bring your own device programs are especially at risk as employees may potentially use compromised Android devices in the workplace. Risk, the risk ranges from the undetected exposure of confidential enterprise assets, wider, more insidious attacks on other enterprise resources and infrastructure. Enterprises must have a fail-safe way to detect if a device or its firmware is compromised before allowing device users to deploy it in the workplace. So how to do a reliable detection of compromised devices? So that's the question we need to answer. Malware can potentially intercept and forge the results of a device health check. Making a compromised device seems secure. The Knox platform leverages its hardware-backed trusted environment to reliably detect and report the compromised devices. Because a Samsung attestation key SAK, is unique to each device, it can tie data to a device through cryptographic signatures. The SAK signs the attestation data to prove that it originated from the trust zone secure world on a Samsung Knox device. Knox attestation works in tandem with the trusted boot to ensure the integrity of devices during deployment, boot up and operation. And I think that pretty much covers uh, all in terms of the key features in terms of the security and how it is achieved. Okay, thanks for explaining that in detail, Sonal. So another feature that makes Samsung Knox desirable is the Knox Mobile Enrollment or KME. Can you tell us more about Knox Mobile Enrollment and how it is useful for customers? Knox Mobile Enrollment is a zero-touch deployment service that allows you to quickly enroll large number of Android devices 
to your MDM or EMM for corporate use. Once an IT admin registers a device with the service, the device user simply has to turn it on and connect to Wi-Fi or 3G, 4G during the initial device setup process. There's no need for IMEI management and verification and participating NOx deployment program resellers register your purchase device on your behalf. Even if a KME enrolled device is factory reset, the MDM or EMM software will be automatically reinstalled and the user will be re-enrolled. That is a really important feature for us MDM, you know, the ability to automatically reinstall MDM after factory reset. And naturally, the next th thing that comes to our mind is factory reset. For can you tell us how KME makes it easy to bypass Google FRP on enrolled devices? Yes. So Samsung device, um, devices utilize built-in security measures to protect devices and their resident information. Factory Reset Protection FRP, is one such feature auto-enabled on Android 5.0 and above devices utilizing a Google account. Once enabled, FRP only allows a user with Google account password to factory reset and activate their device. If an unauthorized individual tries to reset a target device, the device still requires a login using the device owner's Google username and password. So even if a device is lost or stolen, another person cannot conduct a factory reset and manipulate the device. With enterprise, this is very inconvenient since company provided devices lock into an employee's Google account. If the employee were to leave the company, then the device becomes unusable as a company asset. So how can we use KME to bypass FRP capability? To use KME's FRP bypass capability, we need to ensure that the device is assigned to a KME, KME profile with the following two options properly set. First, verify the skip setup wizard is enabled for the profile. This setting is enabled by default for DO KME profile but must be manually enabled for DA KME profiles. Second, ensure the user is not allowed to cancel enrollment. That is, the allow end user to cancel enrollment checkbox is unselected. This setting is disabled by default for DO KME profiles but must be manually disabled for DA KME profiles. Great. So Android has introduced OEM config to make the new enterprise features available to customers from day one. And Samsung has no service plugin, which does the same. So how does Samsung KSP and OEM config fits into each other? Uh, yep. So the Nox service plugin KSP is a solution that enables enterprise customers to use Knox platform for enterprise features as soon as they are commercially available. This automatic deployment method ensures that IT admins can use the latest Knox features on the day it is launched instead of waiting for their UEM to specifically integrate the features. Now KSP provides the following benefits. It helps enterprise customers deploy existing and new Knox features to their devices almost instantly after features are commercially launched. Leverage the second, leverage the UEM's framework and UI to offer enterprise customer better control over distribution and configuration of KPE features. Third, make sure all features of KPE are available for use regardless of which UEM you choose. And lastly, minimize the UEM's development cost of supporting KPE features. Now let's see how it works. KSP is built on top of Android's new standard called OEM Config. OEM Config is a feature that allows you to create and remotely push configurations to apps through an XML schema file that is hosted in an app on Google Play. This architecture means that any UEM that complies with the OEM config standard can support KSP. Here is an overview 
of how KSP works. First, the application developers implement logic to support the managed configuration in their apps. They use an XML schema file to define which app settings IT admins can remotely configure in their Android app. This schema is linked to the app's manifest file. After each update, app developers push their app to managed Google Play. Then UEM developers implement the logic to pull the managed configuration schemas from apps on managed Google Play. UEM consoles then use these XML schemas to allow IT admins to specify how, th how they want to configure app settings. After the IT admins saves their configuration, the MDM pushes the configuration to managed Google Play. Once an app configuration is updated and pushed to managed Google Play, the app is updated on all applicable devices to reflect the new configuration. Now going into the deployment process, the KSP deployment process is as follows. First, Samsung publishes the latest KSP agent on the Google Play Store. Next, IT admins use their compatible UEM console that supports a managed Google Play Store to search for KSP. Third, the UEM console renders the applicable Nox features and policies using the OEM config. Fourth, IT admins use the UEM console to set up policies in the form of managed configurations. These policies are then saved and published to any managed enterprise devices. When a user, when a user's device is being provisioned, the UEM invokes the managed Google Play Store, which in turn installs KSP and pushes the managed configuration to the device. After installation is complete, KSP runs in the background on the device. KSP applies the relevant Knox policies and returns the result of the configuration process using Google's feedback SDK. Now the IT admin can view any configuration failures and associated error messages on the UEM console provided the UEM is equipped to handle the result that the KSP generates and sends back using the feedback SDK. So that's the overall uh, process how KSP is integrated. Okay, so now enterprises need a reseller to use Knox deployment program. What exactly is the role of resellers in registering enterprise customer devices using the Knox deployment program? The Knox deployment program, KDP, enables trusted Samsung device resellers to register devices for their enterprise customers, who can then use Knox mobile enrollment to register devices with MDMs or EMMs or Knox configure to customize devices. Only the devices purchased from the participating resellers can be verified in bulk based on device IDs which are IMEI, MEID, serial number, which allows truly frictionless out-of-the-box device provisioning, enrollment and configuration for enterprises. Okay, so I guess we've covered all the basics and hope the viewers have got an overall idea about Samsung Knox. And thank you, Sunil, for being a part of Hexcon 20 and for sharing your valuable insights with us. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Uh Yes, and all, for all the viewers out there, we will be available in the Hexcon Discord channel and you can ask us your doubts and questions there. And that's it. Enjoy the next session. Thank you. Bye.